in the in the uh, in Sanskrit and coming out of the Indian ancient Indian contemplative traditions generally out of which uh, uh, Buddha's teachings emerged there's this term Turiya which is often translated as meaning one taste it's linked to the saying of the of Buddhas he talks about just as all the oceans have the same basic taste taste of salt so too in that digesting all true teachings one recognizes the same basic taste the taste of freeness the taste of freeness as running through just like the taste of salt runs through seawater the taste of freeness running through the whole ocean of experience and so on the one hand myriad constraints limitless constraints of various kinds and 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 yet in the following all of the the waves within the ocean or the, the waves of this or that drama and detail this or that contraction or compulsion the, the recognition of the this what we call this morning this fundamental dimension of freeness out of which everything arises into experience this fundamental dimension of freeness of which everything that arises is an expression in the those short contemplative exercises that we did before lunch I just where, where does breath come from where does speech come from where does anything come from and the unanswerable nature of that we're we're kind of what's sometimes in the tradition called turning the light of awareness around right? so that rather than just tracking this breath this thought this sound this sensation we're using the, the fundamental clarity of consciousness that we have and the way we kind of can we develop a, a certain recognition of and stability around that clarity which is what our practice is in a way using that to be able to turn around where does it all come from right. classical imagery of that rather than fixating on the individual waves and looking to where do the, where do all the waves come from right. they arise out of the ocean without being separate from the ocean and often we find ourselves fixated on the individual waves buffeted around by the individual waves developing all kinds of complex theories about my waves and you know, that's that's where we where we we live among and in the currents of the waves of life and yet the invitation of a practice to live among those waves to move freely through those waves to surf those waves you could say right? grounded in that sense of the vast don't dimension limitless dimension deep dimension out of which the waves come and go from which the waves are never separate so one taste salt of the ocean one taste freeness of experience many moments maybe where that taste of freeness that taste of non-separation is lost because we've just gotten fixated for a few moments a few lifetimes we've just gotten fixated on this particular wave what it means about me how i wish it what this wave were how it could or should be different and yet in the midst whatever the wave is and whatever kind of attention it might need and whatever kind of response in the world it might need whatever might kind of conversation we might need to have with someone whatever kind of effort we might need to make whatever kind of apology might have to happen whatever kind of exploration and change we might want to engage with simultaneously the opportunity the invitation to oh 
to look back. But where's it coming from? Where's the, what are the waves arising out of? Where does speech come from? Where does breath come from? Where does thought come from? Where does the sense of self arise? Where does sensation happen? What is the hearness that has that single taste of freeness in which all the constraints can be uh, held a little more lightly and loosely? <coughs> the dimension of freeness in which we can really show up to the constraints of our our own lives and our collective lives and and simultaneously be uncontracted we can respond to the constraints while being unconstrained that's the invitation that's the promise our practice and the real possibility. <clears throat>